For the last 10 years, we've been running various film screenings and film festivals across the UK. And over the last couple of years, we have expanded into doing access subtitling for deaf and hard of hearing audiences. When the pandemic started and lockdown happened in the UK, we were really lucky that Film Hub Scotland were able to grant us some national lottery funding to be on a type of retainer for organisations across Scotland so that anybody and everybody that needed um, access subtitles done, we were able to provide that service. I mean, I don't think any audience should ever be grateful to be able to access cinema. I think that it should be something that just everyone has the chance to be able to do, and I think that's all we're doing is enabling that to be the case. The best subtitles are, are invisible, really. You know, as unobtrusive as possible. The elements that you add are dramatically relevant. So you don't necessarily want to add every time you hear someone taking a step or putting a glass down. But if um, you hear ominous music, you need to have that in there because um, that's part of the experience of watching the film. We're really lucky to be busy during this, this crazy time. And so whenever we kind of hear that people are able to access things they wouldn't have otherwise, it's, it's very rewarding. I run a cult film club here in the UK and for years they've been striving to make sure that I include subtitles in all the films that I show. And these are B-movies or genre films that often don't have subtitle files, but what Megan and Sean do is they go out of their way to create the subtitle files for us so that we can make our screenings as accessible as possible. It's been really important that we've been able to give people access to films when they're at home and they can't really go out and see cinema, um, still have that experience and share that with other people as well. A lot of people have been making like good efforts to make their events and their, their screenings accessible, but what we were able to do is kind of show the way to do it effectively and like wasn't going to break the budget as well. Um, and so we were able to join those two things together and therefore expand accessibility quite a lot. When we found out we'd won the National Lottery Award, I think we were just shocked. I think because a lot of the work that we do, we just do because we do see it as a service and we do just want people genuinely to have that access to cinema that lots of audiences already enjoy. 